In this video, we'll be looking at the detailed cost and the explanation file, which is arguably the most important submission. It's the one that ties everything else together. It's the one that shows the theory you've used for your C-bomb and what you've used and what you've created using your supporting material. In the explanation file, we expect every team to be slightly different and taking a different approach when creating all of the documents. However, there are certain rules of thumb that are used in industry and worth looking up different cost methods over different cost theories and why you've taken certain ones. Within the rules, it allows you to admit using any uh, labour rates. However, we do assume that teams will do it for a more real world experience. So looking into the explanation file itself, there are certain topics that need to be covered. So not only your plan for the year, what did you set out to achieve? What does cost decisions have you made throughout the year? And then things like, where have your costs come from? You've created a costed bill of materials. So where did you calculate those costs and where did you get that information from? Have you used an industry model? Have you created your own? And how did you make those decisions? So to create some of the costs, you may need to think about some of the operational expenditure and cap capital expenditure as you go through the process. So you may, might look at things like tooling costs, machine programming or CAM costs, in-house or subcontract. So you may then look at deliveries, how are you going to get the vehicle to the next place, training, are you going to use semi-skilled or skilled staff, and that looking at your labour rates. You definitely are going to want to look at your overhead costs for what facilities you're using. Have you made it representative to the facilities you have regularly available at your university or your sponsors? What working hours have you been working in? So when you get to the end of the detailed bill of materials and costed bill of materials, you'll know exactly how many hours it takes to manufacture that. And that's not just several hundred hours, you're looking at exactly how many weeks it takes you to deliver a vehicle. This could obviously be used for your project management when you start looking at the project as a whole. So breaking it down further, you may even look at setup times over running times. So if that's for if you were machining or if you were looking at any treatment process, you want to make sure you know how much time you're setting up because that'd be a one-off cost over run times because you could then look at scalability. You may even look at the number of operations when you're looking at a machined part. How many times do you have to manipulate the part before you get the finished component? Or are you going to try and optimise that so you're only going to have one operation through one fitting and that way it'd be much more efficient. Uh, you could look at nesting and stacking of parts if you're going to try and optimise the machining processes. Or the number of inspection protocols as well. You're not just going to manufacture these parts and throw them onto the vehicle. You're going to have some form of quality management system. So the cost explanation file shows every piece of thinking or calculation or method the team have used throughout the cost event. It's one of the ones that the judges will go through every aspect of and will make sure that you know it as well as they do after. Looking more in depth, we can see the cost theories. These could be job costing or even process costing. For more information on that, look at the reference documents found for this video, which is volume four, which will be found on the iMeki site. So moving on to a different aspect is the budget side. So each team will have an allocated budget. Some will be hundreds of thousands of euros, others will be three or five thousand pounds. It doesn't matter when it comes to the static events. Money does not matter. As long as you're at the event, you are directly up against teams that have hundreds of thousands of pound budget and you can go out and beat them. It, it, this can happen on track in the dynamic events, but certainly into the static events. Showing how you've used that money effectively is what's important in the cost event. So if you've had £3,000 and you've created something that works for £3,000 over hundreds of thousands and you've made bespoke engines or motors or batteries and accumulators, it's very different. As long as you show how you got to those decisions and you used your money to create the targets and goals that you had already set for the team is what's important. So looking at labour rates, this is one of the most fundamental aspects of the cost pack. The idea of how much is it going to cost you 
to employ enough people to manufacture your parts. So if we take wages as an example, so this would be the building blocks to develop your CBU. This could be, are you just going to have a flat rate of 15 euros an hour? And if so, what goes into that? How do you build that 15 euros an hour? Could this be pensions, sick pay? Could it be the fact that we need additional training? Or if you're going to put them on apprenticeship schemes? Or how is that 15 euros made? It's not an arbitrary number that's picked out of the sky. It's something that has been calculated. Teams will need to do this if they want to score the higher end of the points. Show the judges that you know what you're talking about and show them in the explanation file in a clear, precise and professional way so they know what they're looking at before they've opened the costed bill of materials. They already know the methods that you've used throughout the process. As an optional learning opportunity for the UK event, and please make sure to check if this is any other events in Europe, they may not use the same format. But you can look into capex, opex, depreciation and the equipment costs as well to give a really well-rounded understanding of cost of manufacturing. So I hope this has given you a basic understanding of the cost explanation file. This is not a bolt-on document, it is the fundamentals of all of the documents within the cost of manufacturing event. If you do have any other questions, make sure to check the literature and the PDF documents associated with this video. If not, please fire a question on the iMeche team account and we'll see you in the next video.